So we're going to continue building on the same web page that we've been building on for across the whole class. Um, and what I want to do is I want to add a navigation, but in order to add a navigation and practice making a navigation, um, I need to have different pages to link to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my current page um, into different sections. So you should already have it split up on your page by headers. Um, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is make some of those sections that I now have broken up with headers into separate pages. Um, I'm going to look at my page and decide what I think are the best things to split them into. Um, you don't have to choose the same type of headings that I or separate pages that I choose, but um, you can if you want. Base it on what you already have on your page or what would be easy to modify to do. The three pages that I'm going to pull off are education, work, and personal. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now that I've decided that is I'm going to go into Dreamweaver. And I'm going to open a new document and it's going to be an HTML document. Um, and then I'm going to save this one and I'm going to save it in the same folder where I have all the rest of my files, which happens to be my lab for two folder in this case. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'll call this one education. I'll give it a title. Jillian wins education. Um, and I'll save that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another one. I'm going to call this one work. So I'm giving it a page title and I'm saving it. I'll save as. I'm going to call this one work. And again, all of these files are going in the same folder. Um, and then, so education, work, and then I was going to do one called personal. So one more, I'm going to make a new page. Save it a title, and now I'm saving it as personal. So now that I've created my three new my three new pages, um, and I have my index open, which is my original page with all of my content, what I'm going to do is basically just copy and paste the stuff that I need um, into those other pages. So first of all, I definitely want to make sure that I have my style sheet linked. Um, and so what I can do is I can just copy in this link. Your style sheet might be called something else, but you can just copy it in. Make sure that you're copying it into the head of each document um, and that it is a link tag, which then um, has the href, which is the source of the file name. And it also has this rel equals style sheet and type equals text slash CSS. So basically for each of these, I want to paste that into each of my new files. Now what that's going to do is that's going to point everything to the same exact CSS file. Now the advantage of that is I don't need to maintain you know, separate CSS files for each HTML page. Um, I can, you know, in my one CSS file I've already declared you know, my, my background color, my link colors, my hover, my link hover colors, all of that stuff I've already put in my CSS file. So 
just by linking it into these um, new pages I've created, it's going to have the same, the same preferences. Next, I'm going to break up the content across the different pages that I made. So um, I can just do this by copying and pasting in the content. Um, you can copy and paste from the design view. I prefer to always just use the code. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, the education page for an example. I will copy this much, which is just the education background. I'm going to paste that into my body of my education page. I'm gonna go back and get my work info, copy it. And I'm gonna paste it into my body of my new work page. And I'm going to do the same thing with my personal section. And paste it into my new personal page. And in fact, I can even delete all of that from my original page. which actually just leaves my header, my picture, my outline, and my contact information on my main page. But what I also want to add is links to those other pages that I made. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to put it at the bottom of the page. But I'm going to say, find out or maybe I'll say more about me. And I'm going to make that an H2. And then I'm going to say to find out more about me, visit one of these other sections. And I'm going to make a bulleted list, which I will show you how to do in Dreamweaver and also um, by hand. So if I'm going to do it um, using Dreamweaver's graphical user interface, I just click the bullet button and I type education, work, personal, and I have a bulleted list, um, or I'll delete, I can do it by hand. First I would do a UL to start my unordered list, close my UL to end it. Then for each bullet item, I need to do a list item, which is an LI. And I want three of them. So I wanted education, work, and personal. So now you can see that I have those. And now I'm going to link each of them. And I'm just going to do the link by hand. So to do a link, you do an A href equals. I'm going to go ahead and close my link. And I type the location. Now, because um, my 
education page, which is education.html, is located in the same folder as the page I'm on, which is index.html, um, the link or source would just be the file name. So I just did education.html. I'm going to do the same for these other ones and put in the link. So there's my work.html linked in. And there's my personal.html linked in. So to test if my links work, I'm going to preview it in the browser. Um, when you are looking at the code and, and design view together, sometimes the design view in Dreamweaver isn't 100% accurate, which is, always, which is why it's always better to preview in the browser. Um, you also can't click on the links um, when you're in the design view of Dreamweaver to actually have it take you to the other pages and make sure it works. So the best way to test it is to preview it in the, in the browser. To do that, I go up to the little earth. Um, I click on it and I say preview in and I say what I want to preview it in. I'm going to go ahead and do Safari. It pops it up right away. And I can see I have my links down here. Um, I click on one. It takes me to the page. Right now I don't have a back button at all. Um, so I'll just click back and test that each of these work. Um, and you can see that they are using, pulling the same style sheet. So it has the same background. Um, my, my heading tags have the same stylings um, as the index page. And again, that's because we linked each of those individual pages to the same CSS file. So it's sending the same message um, to all the pages of what those styles should be. Now, I actually want to add my header to every page so that on every page it's really clear um, where I am, what's the website I'm on. So it's customary that we have the same header on all pages, so I'm going to go ahead and add the header on all of those other pages. And I'm also going to make the header a link back to my index file. So I have an easy way to get back there. So let me just move my preview. I'm going to close it, or not close it, I'm going to just minimize it, and this is like a good trick too for your workflow. If you keep it open, you can just refresh it later. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to copy my header. Then I'm going to go to my other files, and I'm going to paste it in. And you need to also save. Um, but in addition to just pasting it in, I'm going to make it a link. And I'm just going to make it a link again to my index file, which is my home page. Okay, so now that I have this updated with my link, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to save the pages, save the changes to that that page. I'm going to go to my other two pages, add it in at the top of the body. Um, when you're in Dreamweaver, if you haven't saved, you will see a star next to the file name. So I'm just going to go ahead and save, gets rid of that star. Um, I'm going to go to my personal page, paste it in just like before, save. Now the key is to save before you check in your browser. So now I'm going to bring my browser back up. I'm going to click refresh, then I'm going to click on my edu education tag, um, education link. Now you can see when you roll over the header that it's a link, and I'm going to click on it, it's going to take me back. Work, takes me to the work page, I click on the header, it takes me back. Click on the personal page, it takes me there. Click on the header, it takes me back. So now I have basically separated my page um, that used to be one page is now four because I have my home page or index page plus I have an education work and personal page um, and I have each of those linking back as well. Now if I want to make it more like a menu um, what I could actually do is move it to the top so and I could even take out this more about me so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So 
So basically, I'm just going to take my bullets. I'm going to cut those out. I'm going to get rid of this more about me. I don't really need it. It's just fluffy words. Okay, I'm going to go to the top and under my header, I'm going to paste in my links. Now I'm going to save those changes and I'm going to do the same thing. So here, my education page and on my work page and on my personal page. Except for I, I forgot, no, yeah, okay, so I've got that all in there. I've saved, I'm gonna um, go back here, I'm gonna refresh again. You can see that's at the top now. So it's like I kinda have this little menu up here except for it has bullets. But now I've pasted it at each one, so now I can easily go across all of them. And of course, if I wanted, I could also even add a home link. And you know what? Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that too. So I'll go back and make another bullet item. And then I'm going to make it go to my index. And I'm going to call it home. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that in and save it on my other pages as well. So now that I've made the update and I've saved in Dreamweaver, I can pull up my preview window again and refresh and see I now have that home link. So now I have kind of like this little mini menu.